Chelsea are into the last eight of the UEFA Champions League after getting by Atletico Madrid on Wednesday in the round of 16, winning the second leg 2-0 and advancing 3-0 on aggregate. The Blues join Bayern Munich, PSG, Liverpool, Porto, Borussia Dortmund, Manchester City and Real Madrid in the last eight. After winning the first leg 1-0, the Blues knew they only needed to avoid defeat to keep on going in the competition. While Atletico managed to generate a bit more in this leg, Chelsea still remained in control throughout and never looked like being beaten, as they haven't been since Thomas Tuchel arrived. The first half was similar to the entire first leg in that the Blues looked like the most threatening team. While Atleti were able to produce more shots in the first half than the entire first leg, they weren't very clear chances. Instead, they had as many penalty kick claims as shots with two in the opening 45 minutes. Los Colchoneros knew they would need at least two goals to win, and that belief was cemented in the 34th minute. On an attacking free kick, Atleti got forward in numbers and were caught out as the hosts scored on the counter. Kai Havertz played Timo Werner in, and the speedy attacker played a fine ball across the face of goal that Hakim Ziyech put past Jan Oblak with a bit of good fortune. The goalkeeper looked to be in position to make the save, but it trickled under him and in. The Blues now just had to defend their two-goal aggregate lead in the second half and did just that with Atletico not coming close to scoring. Atleti brought on Musa Dembele in the second half, Angel Correa came on for Luis Suarez, and very little changed. Suarez, who left the field in disbelief, hasn't scored an away goal in UCL since 2015. Athletics Stefan Savic was shown a red card late for an elbow on Antonio Rudiger, making matters worse for the visitors, ending any hope of a late comeback. And late substitute Emerson added a second just before the final whistle to add insult to injury.